So we're getting a last look at the, uh, un, sorry, a look at the last known footage of a missing University of Utah student. It shows Mackenzie Lewick at the airport shortly before taking a lift to a park outside Salt Lake City. Jonathan Vigliotti is at the park in North Salt Lake. Jonathan, who met her there? And Anthony, good morning. That's exactly what police are trying to get to the bottom of. Lewick was last seen nine days ago meeting someone in their car in this parking lot in the middle of the night. Police say they have received about 125 tips, but so far they've been unable to identify that driver or the vehicle. They're now calling on the FBI to help them solve this puzzling mystery. Salt Lake City police are hoping these surveillance photos of Mackenzie Lewick, taken less than an hour before she disappeared, will help bring them closer to finding the 23-year-old. Finding Mackenzie remains a very high priority for us. The photos show Lewick arriving at Salt Lake City International Airport shortly after 2 a.m. on Monday, June 17th, after going home to California for a funeral. She's seen wearing black sweatpants and a light-colored sweater while carrying two bags and a brown suitcase. From the airport, Lewick took a lift ride at about 2.40 a.m. to Hatch Park in North Salt Lake, arriving just before 3 in the morning. The lift driver told detectives that's where Lewick was met by an individual in another vehicle and said she showed no signs of distress as she placed her bags in the car and left. Police say they've only been able to gather a vague description of the unknown driver. It could have been a male or a female. We've exhausted all avenues of determining that information and want to ask this person to please call us. Signs at the park indicate there are surveillance cameras, but it turns out they aren't actually real, instead acting only as a deterrent for crime. And police have served several search warrants, so they won't say if they pertain to Lewick's cell phone records, which, Gail, that cell phone may have been turned off. Jonathan, we are all hoping the story has a good ending. Thank you very much. Yeah.